to this district. Help us to be guided by your spirit. May we, may we be wise in our discernment, balanced in our judgment, fair in our decisions, and visionary in our planning. We ask for your continued blessings on this district. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And I think we've got some celebrities to do our pledge. Oh, look at him already up here. That was quick. All right. Right here at the front. Yeah. So the first one is Franklin Velasquez. Parents are Fernando Chavez and Alberto Romero. His hobbies are helping his dad around the house when he is building or fixing something. He's also interested in taking care of their animals. And any special notes, he wants to graduate high school and go to work in construction. Let's give him a round. Next one is Whitney Roy. Uh, parents are Chad and Lauren Roy. Her hobbies and interests are cheerleading, riding horses, and tumbling. And after high school, she wants to go to Texas State College and become an ultrasound technician. Everybody, please stand. Scott, Vicki Spratley, and Courtney Cox. 
We had two students join the Burleson Blaze for team events. Miranda Campbell played in the three-on-three -three event, and Jackson Spratley played in the five-on-five -five event. Mm -hmm. Now on to track and field. Joshua had 13 athletes compete on April 5th in the Special Olympics Area 11 track and field meet. We'd like to congratulate all of our athletes. Jackson Lee, the 25 meter run, placed full. <laughs> the 25 meter run placed gold, and the softball throw placed silver. Kay Johnson, the 25 meter run, placed gold. Earned silver in the softball throw, earned gold. Garrett Cox in the 10 meter walk, earned silver. Tyler Goats in the 10 meter walk, earned bronze. Softball throw, earned bronze. Jonathan Trout, the 25 meter run, run earned bronze. Brian Luce in the 25 meter run, earned silver. The standing long jump, earned bronze. Jackson Spratley, the 100 meter run, earned gold. The standing long jump, earned gold. And the relay 50 meter earned gold. Evan Botter in the 10 meter walk earned gold. And Caden Shroud in the 25 meter run earned gold. And the relay 50 meter, uh, 50 meter earned gold. Miranda Campbell in the 25 meter run earned bronze. Relay 50 meter uh, earned gold. Raylan Morrow in the 25 meter run earned silver. Softball throw earned bronze. Relay 50 meter earned gold. And Valerie Munoz in the 25 meter run earned fourth place. A special thank you to our parents, coaches, and volunteers. None of this would have been possible without the vision and dedication of Cinnamon Getty and the quality of Tomasio. Mm -hmm. We'll finish our year with our Better Together track meet here in Joshua Stadium on May out. Come, eight, come out and celebrate a great year with us. <laughs> presentation from our ninth grade campus at New Horizon High School. I am Melissa Kinney. I'm the principal of the ninth grade campus. Um, I'm going to take some time to thank some people before we show you our presentation. First, my uh, right-hand man, Lori Matthew, is my assistant principal. Um, I firmly believe without her, our campus would suffer. She does everything for us, positive referrals, all kinds of things. Um, she reaches out to our parents, so without her, we wouldn't be successful without her at all. Um, Mr. Timms, his audio-visual class, put together our presentation for us from Joshua High School with two students, um, Jackson and Andrew, so we appreciate them as well. Our highlight video is over the educational and learning. Um, halfway in class, we have 15, about 15 freshmen that are in this class to pursue teaching. Um, and they are going to go through what all teachers in JISD do is the continuous improvement plan um, and the PDSA plan for the learning. And really having kids engaged in the learning and focusing on learning and evaluating their own learning and taking ownership. 
So this is going to be them going through as if they were a teacher and what that looks like. starts to improve, they start to believe that the sky is the limit for them. Uh, here's a video that our staff put together just to see a little bit of what happens in our world. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> New Horizon High School is a precious gem in the treasure chest that is Joshua ISD. At New Horizon, 
we celebrate. We celebrate our staff. We celebrate our stars, their hard work, their kindness, their resilience, their diligence, their perseverance, and their compassion. We celebrate our graduates. Stephanie De La Cruz was our first graduate of the 2023-24 school year. Hayden, Diana, Chelsea, Hannah, Ava, Zoeli, Claudia, Chase, Alex, Tyke, Devon, Eileen, and Maddox are just a few among the 35 we've graduated thus far. We celebrate our minds and bodies during the Battle of Homerooms. Mrs. Bush's minions won this year. We celebrate Mrs. Taylor, our favorite substitute teacher. We celebrate learning about career opportunities at Hill College. We celebrate Thanksgiving with a big family feast. We celebrate Christmas with a pancake and bacon breakfast, fellowship, and Santa. We celebrate Valentine's Day with delicious heart-shaped <coughs> cookies baked by Mrs. Bush. We celebrate learning physics with kite flying days. We celebrate prom, which is this weekend. We celebrate, celebrate our babies all grown up. And we celebrate our students. So. Us, all right, or just stop by visit. We'd love to see you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Back to recognitions. All right, that's time. So, if I could have all of our um, teacher incentive allotment designation employees, those who receive it, you can all come to the front. <laughs> so we have a large group. There are 79 math and ELAR teachers who are receiving a teacher incentive allotment designation. These educators are our first JISD cohort to be submitted to the state for a designation, and we look forward to including more teachers a year, each year by adding additional subject areas. In order to receive a TIA designation, there are requirements that must be met that include a certain score on their annual evaluation and a certain uh, student growth score. We want to recognize these teachers tonight for this amazing accomplishment, which will generate a total of over $800,000 in incentive pay for their campus this, this summer. Everyone, please join me in congratulating all of these wonderful educators. Thank you. Thank you. 
Texas submitted essays about the most impactful person in their lives, and Nolan's essay was one of 25 winners of the scholarship. Lapa Middle School is very proud of him. student's life. In a moment of crisis, he swiftly intervened when a young boy began choking on a peppermint. With remarkable composure and skill, he applied the Heinrich maneuver, also known as the upward abdominal thrust, effectively dislodging the obstruction and preventing a potential tragedy. His decisive actions and level-headedness in the face of adversity are truly commendable. His selfless act of bravery serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of remaining calm and prepared in emergency situations. His dedication to the safety and well-being of our students is both inspiring and invaluable. Please join me in expressing a heartfelt gratitude to Mr. DiBartoneo for his heroic
All right. Our Lady Al soccer team is coached by Coach Brooks, Coach Walker, and Coach Jackson. The Lady Al soccer team had an extremely solid season this year, finishing with a record of 17 wins, 6 losses, and 3 ties. The Lady Owls finished third in District 8 5A with a record of 11 wins, 4 losses, and 1 tie in what is widely considered the best soccer district in the state. And so doing, they advanced to the playoffs for the 16th consecutive year, and it was a fun run. In the first round, Joshua fought defending state champions Grapevine for 100 scoreless minutes before prevailing in a penalty shootout. The 10th by district title in the last 11 playoffs. The Lady Owls kept it rolling with a 4-1 area victory over a solid Northwest team, earning their sixth area title in nine years and a regional quarterfinal berth. That's where the road stopped with a heartbreaking last minute loss to the eventual eventual regional finalist, Wichita Falls Rider, but what a season. One of the greatest things about this team too is that to a person no one was satisfied. It was a good season for sure, but the great teams advanced far enough to where the losses hurt a ton, and that's what happened here. So, so proud of these ladies and grateful to be a part of Lady Owl Soccer. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Coach Brooks and introduce every one of our Members. Well, wonderful. Um, so we've got Hannah Day. <laughs> Kaylin Rush. <laughs> Corey Huddle. <laughs> Caitlin Combs. <laughs> Kinley Miller. <laughs> Paula Sierra. Kennedy Gordy, <laughs> Avery Gordy, <laughs> Dylan Hammonds, <laughs> Warren Ellis, <laughs> Gracie Davis, <laughs> Emma Freeman, <laughs> Cam Tatum, <laughs> and Maddie Gordy. <laughs> teams who were coached by Coach Payne and Coach Williams. These are the boys and girls that qualified and competed at the THSPA and THSWPA state championships. And now I'm going to turn it over to Coach Payne to introduce everyone we have here tonight. First off, just want to thank the board and Mr. Hickerson for uh, allowing us to come here tonight. Uh, these young uh, men and ladies here, they did an incredible job this year. Uh, first off here, we have Javier Pena. 
He placed ninth place at stake this year. Next, we have a young man here, a prior commitment tonight, uh, Samit Jackson. He placed 27th out of 50 at the state competition. Another young man uh, that had another commitment tonight was Noah Newman. He placed 21st. And on to the girls uh, division, we had uh, Morgan Collier. She was, she's not able to be here tonight as well, but she placed 13th. Jasmine Brown, she placed 10th. Ashlyn Evans placed 6th. Kendall Kreiner placed 4th. Maddie Baez placed 2nd. these lifters, they're all coming back next year. special recognition tonight and we're going to recognize our school, school board member Mr. Gene Laughlin. Uh, we want to recognize him for his commitment um, for 13 years of serving our board who's given up selflessly given up his time and many years of education experience to not only help us but to help us uh, become a, and foster a culture of excellence so we want to can't say or thank him enough and I'm the Ryan continual. Congratulations. It took me a long time to talk to him to run for the board. Now he's deserting me. <laughs> All I want to give him is a pen. We're going to keep this. So, congratulations. We appreciate all the service. And ask for a better board member. I'm in the last school of business. And, uh, as a kid's uh, best in mind always about the teachers and the kids. So I certainly appreciate all of you done for Josh for the high school. Thank But he always said this. He said, You find your passion in life, and you're working day in life. And I've always held true to that. I always felt like that was so important that you find your passion. I see a lot of people make a lot of money, and they're not happy. Uh, you, when our time here on earth is relatively short, and uh, you know, try to make as big a difference in people's lives as you can for your peers. Uh, I'm very blessed and fortunate that I. I'm wrapping up 45 years of public service. I call it public service, working in schools, working with kids, working with people. I've done a little bit of everything. I've been a principal, I've been an assistant superintendent, I've done a big unit. Uh, my family, I thank them, Robin, and the family. 
I've sat across a lot of time. Uh, you know, we can do this long enough, you're going to be gone a lot. And your family is so important. And I appreciate them. I see them back here. I should have known something was up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they don't come to board meetings. But uh, I'm very blessed. About, 60 some, about a little over 60 years ago, I'm going to my age, I started a school over here in first grade, first hallway, in Senate. And Miss Carlock, I learned, I learned I learned my math on an abacus. Now, you people that are young, don't know what that is. But I learned to count on an abacus, and I learned, I remember reading comprehension. One of the things we used to do was SRA. If you've been around the business for a while, you understand that, you remember the SRA. I remember all those times. Uh, and like I said, uh, at one time I never thought I'd be doing this, and they always tell you, you always end up doing what you say you're not going to. And I've never regretted it a day. Uh, it's been a good life for me. I've enjoyed working here. I enjoy serving. Uh, like I said, I don't know exactly what I want to do now to fill that time. I'm going to spend time with my wife and my family more, and that's going to be good. Uh, I just want to leave you this. I told my son this. He's in education like that. And I said, hey, lady, gosh, it's been 30 plus years ago now. Here you I'll never forget this. And I told her, I asked her, I said, uh, ma'am, I said, tell me something about teaching that you've learned. Well, she's been teaching for a while. And uh, she looked at me, and she sat there for a minute, and she said, Mr. Walton, she says, I was to tell you this. She says, I've learned this as I've gone along in, in education. The kids, they really don't know how much you care, how much you know, until they know how much you care. And I was, that stuck with me for 30 plus years. I told my young son, I said, if you want to get a job, that's a good line to throw. There's just many new on me. I don't yeah. want to on everybody else, but he always says on me is that, Kids really don't care how much you know until you know how much you care. And you care about kids, you care about people, and I do. And uh, this has been a wonderful life, like I said. It's, it's fitting for me to uh, end my career here in, in Joshua, a place that's been a lot for my family. Uh, my gosh, my family's been here for over 100 years. And so uh, I'm excited for people, that's, the young people that's coming in to uh, hopefully take over here and lead our district. Uh, like I said, uh, Somebody said the uh, other day, thank you for serving. I said, no, I need to thank y'all because it's been an honor. It's been a privilege and an honor to do that. So that's it. <laughs>
retirees' positions not being filled or people that are resigning that you may not have the option to fill those positions because of that change, which I totally understand. We were just concerned that with Bonnie Foster retiring, that position may not be filled um, because it's fine arts, not a core subject, that sort of thing. So I just am here to represent the band to make sure that you guys understand how important that position is and that we need to make sure that it gets filled. Um, simply because these directors are stretched so thin as it is. Um, and I have witness to that because of my husband, they, they fight so hard for these students, and I'm sure every organization here does. That's very evident by our success. But I just want you guys to know that my husband travels to six campuses a day, um, and we're going to a four day week next year, which is already going to make it extremely difficult on not only him but the other directors because their time is even more limited now, especially the high school directors because they also serve our middle schools. So my biggest thing is I just want you guys to please consider that if you should have to look at eliminating that position, just please keep in mind where I'm at and what I'm presenting to you um, because that position is very important as far as they will already have a ratio of about 16 students to one director without that fourth position being filled. So um, with traveling and stuff to football games to me, it's a safety concern to have that many students to one instructor. Um, and so I just want to make sure that you guys can hopefully consider that and that's in your ears as you're discussing budgets and just know how important that position is to me and my family and to the directors and as a former alumni <coughs> here, um, that sort of thing. Uh, but I did also have a question for you guys really quick, just regarding the four-day weeks next year, which I'm in favor of, but um, there's been a lot of questions as to if that was developed for teacher incentive to keep to get teachers here, why are we having to go on a hiring freeze? Like, was that part of the four-day discussion? Or, you know, you see where I'm coming from? I would say it's more attention. Yeah. Well, let yeah. me first start by saying we're not on a hiring freeze. Okay. So the information said these these are avenues that we're considering. Okay, fair so enough. So we're not on a hiring freeze. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good. Anybody else signed up? I have one. All right. So let's get it. We will jump down to subject A, and so uh, consider consent agenda items, and so uh, we'll be approving our minutes from May, March 25th meeting. We do have a purchase over 50000 that Ms. Mesker reviewed during our budget workshop, and that um, is to complete the process of the on boards and installation at, at Lachlan and Nichols Middle School. Uh, going forward, so my recommendation would be to approve the consent items as discussed. Did I hear a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes as discussed. Good. I'll approve the hearing second. 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 Yeah, this is one of our items that we do every year. Uh, this is uh, the district works with the Crowley Regional Day School to provide services for our students that are deaf and hard of hearing. Um, and we have several students that this program benefits. And so my recommendation would be to approve the shared service agreement with the Crowley Regional Day School program for the deaf for the 24-25 school year as well. I move to approve agenda item B is presented. Second. Second. Motion by Mr. Lawton. Second. Thomas Wilson. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor? Sit up. So consider approving the instructional materials allotment and TEKS certification for. 2024, 2025. Okay, so this is an instructional materials allotment and technology allotment that can be used for expenses that are allowed through the Texas Education Code 31.02.1. Um, the district has an instructional materials that collectively cover, cover the elements of our TEKS, our Texas Central 
skills and knowledge, or knowledge and skills, excuse me, of that required curriculum within that Texas Education Code 28.002. And the district will provide the State Board of Education the title public publication information for any instructional material, materials with requisition or purchased by the district of the district's own lot. And so the recommendation is to approve the instructional materials allotment and the TEAC certification for the 24 25 school year. Okay. Dr. Most. I'll make a motion on subject C. Motion by Mr. Kevin Lee. Your second. Second. Second by Mr. Lowe. Any further discussion on the question? All in favor? 6 0. Subject D, you consider approving the interlocal agreement between the University of Texas at Austin and Joshua Independent School District. Okay, we, we discussed this at length during our board budget workshop. Uh, new this year, because it's an interlocal agreement and all interlocal agreements come to the board for approval, uh, we're seeking approval to, um, to approve this interlocal agreement with the University of Texas Austin for their arm ramps course. The arm ramps course uh, will be rhetoric writing, which our students will then receive through a teacher here at Joshua High School. And so this would allow us to offer that course for them to earn um, college credit and um, the opportunity, they have the opportunity, obviously, as they progress to that program to earn that credit or um, if they don't like the grade, it won't impact their transcript. And so our recommendation will be approve the interlocal agreement between the University of Texas at Austin and the Joshua ISD, or Joshua Independent School District. I make a motion we approve agenda item D as it was presented. Yeah, motion is by Mr. Lowe. Do I hear a second? Second. Second. Okay. By Mr. Kevin Lee. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor? Five. All opposed? One. Anything we don't worry about? Five, four, one, eight. Subject E. Consider approving the random of understanding between Charleston State University and Joshua Independent School. Okay, this is completely separate than our MOU that we have with Hill College. This is the opportunity that Charleston State is offering our students uh, to gain a dual credit in our in leadership course. And so this will allow students to earn that college or um, high school credit upon successfully completing that dual credit course through Tarleton University. Um, great new avenue for our students uh, going forward. And so my recommendation is approve the memorandum of understanding between Tarleton State University and Joshua ISD. I make a motion that we approve the MOU between Tarleton and Joshua ISD. Motion by Ms. Wood, there is a second. Second. Second by Ms. Wilson. Any further discussion or question? All in favor? Six up. F, consider a temporary easement for city of Joshua. Okay, this is to alleviate some uh, flooding concerns um, at the back of Elder Elementary Campus that um, obviously floods into Cooper Valley. Um, the city of Joshua is going to come in, uh, just needs a temporary easement to fix the issue, needs uh, that will take approximately five days to complete. Um, and once that work is completed, then it within that agreement any issues down the road the city of Joshua would then take care of. And so my recommendation would be to approve the temporary easement with the city of Joshua. Okay. Good motion. A motion we approve subject F as presented. Good motion by Second. Cody Lee. Second by Ms. Pruitt. Any further discussion or question? All in favor? So. G, consider special call for So after our May 4th general trustee and special bond election, our votes need to be canvassed. That has to be canvassed by May 15th, 2024. And so um, our May school board meeting is after that date. And so we're asking you to consider a special board meeting for Monday, May 13th at 5.30 to canvass the votes from the school board trustee and special bond election. So a recommendation will be approved a special call school board meeting for May 13th. Four at 
I make a motion we approve agenda item G as stated. Second. 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 That is required by the State Board of Education and the Board President must announce whether each board member has met their training requirements. And we'll start with the announcing. <coughs> Running over the total hours, total hours required, hours completed, 13. Honor Bird. Hours required, 11. Hours completed, 13. Cody Lee, hours required, 15. Hours completed, 17. Kevin Lee, hours required, 15. Hours completed, 17. Gene Malofan, 11 hours required, 13 hours completed. Fire Hood, 11 hours required, 13 hours completed. Meaning Wilson, 11 hours required, 13 hours completed. So we're all five beta capital. We completed it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 At this time, the board will convene in closed session to discuss items authorized by the Texas Open Meetings Act. This is Governor Code Section 551.001 through 551.081. Okay. The time is 7 1.
back into regular session at 8.23. All right. Uh, make a recommendation the board approve the professional contracts and extensions as presented, in addition to recommendation to renew a teacher's probation and contract for a board term. Okay. I hear the motion. Make a motion we approve that as presented. Second. Motion to close the meeting. Second by Ruth. Accept the contracts as presented. Uh, here. Anybody got any questions? Any comment? All in favor? Let's get this up. All right, next thing we have is uh, open session action A. Uh, this is Discuss, consider accepting the don donation of land described as 3060 Southwest Wilshire Boulevard uh, via a special warranty fee attached to the exhibit A. And this is the donation donation of that parcel of uh, land on North Joshua, um, over at North Joshua, as uh, the corner of Mockingbird and Southwest Wilshire that was not included back in the 1996. Um, Mountain Valley Joint Venture sold lands to, when they sold lands to Joshua ISD. So my recommendation. I'll make a motion we accept the land. <coughs> motion for Mr. Kevin Lee. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Lowe. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor. Six up. <coughs> All right, our next action. Um, is consider a uh, possible action regarding the recommendation uh, to terminate and terminate the identified probationary employee contract at the end of the 23-24 school year in the best interest of the district. It is recommended that the Board of Trustees approve the termination of the probationary contract employee Brandon Beeler in the best interest of the district pursuant to section 21.103 of the Texas Education Code. Thank you. Motion. I move that the board approve the recommendation of the superintendent as presented to terminate the employment of Brandon Beeler in the best interest of the district pursuant to section 21.103 of the Texas Education Code and board policy DFAB legal. I move that the board authorize the superintendent to send notice of the board's decision to terminate the employment of Brandon Beeler pursuant to section 21.103 of the Texas Education Code and board policy DFAB. Okay. That motion by Ms. Brooke. I hear a second. Second. Okay. Mr. Cody Lee. Any further discussion or questions? All favor. Six up. All right. Our next uh, action item is recommended the Board of Trustees approve the termination of the probation contract employee Tiffany Breyer in the best interest of the district pursuant to section 21.103 of the Texas Education Code and Board Policy CFAB and the FAB League. I move that the board approve the recommendation of the superintendent as presented to terminate the employment of Tiffany Greiner in the best interest of the district pursuant to section 21.103 of the Texas Education Code and board policy DFAB legal. I move that the board authorize the superintendent to send a notice of the board's decision to terminate the employment of Tiffany Greiner pursuant to 21.103 of the Texas Education Code and Board Policy DFAB legal. Okay, motion by Mr. Kevin Lee here. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Law. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor? Six up. And uh, we reviewed the professional, professional staff uh, required retirement and resignations uh, from executive session. Second. 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 Second.